Today marks the 100th anniversary of the end of the Caliphate, or Khilafah, an institution that had been in operation for nearly 1,300 years before that. It was on the 3rd of March, 1924, that the last Caliph, or Khalifa of Islam, was deposed and sent into exile. Why and how did this happen? What was going on 100 years ago? Let's find out. Welcome to Learn with Sayyid. I'm Sayyid Mahmoud. Let's learn together. The Caliph was the leader of all Muslims, in theory at least, a concept which we discussed in detail in episode number one. The Caliphate was in operation from the year 632 to 1924, the longest running such political office in the world. The last Caliphs were the Ottomans from 1517 till the end. The Ottomans were the most powerful political entity in the world in the 16th century. However, their later years saw a fragmentation of the empire and a failure to keep up with the modern technology as the rest of Europe progressed. In the 19th century, the Ottoman Caliphate was mockingly called the sick man of Europe. After a long and steady decline, the most immediate cause of the collapse in the early 20th century was joining the Germans in the Great War. This led to uh, the British, French, and Italian and Greek invasion of Ottoman lands. While most of the cities uh, and lands, including Philistine, uh, were lost, Turkey managed to fight back and regain the core Turkish territories. Uh, the Battle of Gallipoli, which the Ottomans managed to win in 1916, brought to prominence a military leader called Mustafa Kemal. Afterwards, the Turkish War of Independence cemented Mustafa Kemal's position. He became known as Ataturk. Uh, this also led to the establishment of the modern Republic of Turkey. In 1922, the last Ottoman Sultan, or the last Khalifa with some political power, was deposed as Mustafa Kemal initially became Prime Minister and then President. He hated the Islamic heritage and believed that secularization and being more like the Europeans was the way forward. Mustafa Kemal did not dare to abolish the Caliphate right away, as it still commanded a considerable degree of support from the common people and Muslims from around the world. There were thoughts of handing over the Caliphate to other Muslim leaders outside of Turkey, but no agreement was reached. So he chose Abdul Majid II, a cousin of the last Sultan, uh, as a figurehead Caliph in a purely symbolic role. He refused to allow any traditional ceremonies to be held at the coronation of the Khalifa. At this time, the Khalifa had no power whatsoever and had to ask Mustafa Kemal for money. When he requested an increase in his allowance, Mustafa Kemal harshly refused and told the Khalifa not to contact even his secretary. The weakened state of the Caliphate gave rise to various calls from around the Muslim world for its protection. One such movement was the Khilafat movement in India, led by brothers Shaukat Ali and Muhammad Ali. At one stage, they distributed pamphlets in Turkey, calling upon the Turkish people to preserve the caliphate. Letters were sent in 1923 to the then Prime Minister of Turkey, urging him to help the caliphate. Now, under Turkey's new nationalistic government, this was construed as a foreign intervention, a threat to the state security. Mustafa Kemal promptly seized this chance. On his initiative, the National Assembly of Turkey abolished the caliphate on 3rd of March 1924. Abdul Majid was sent into exile with the remaining members of the Ottoman family, exactly 100 years ago from today. What were the consequences of the end of the Caliphate? And where are the Ottomans now? If you'd like to learn more, please do let me know in the comments and please let me know what type of content you'd like to see. If you want to learn more and not subscribed yet to my channel, please consider subscribing. See you in the next video. Happy learning.